With the recent update of the Windows 11, Microsoft has added even more of their errors across different parts of the Windows 11. Just let me show you an example. So if I have to go ahead and open the settings app, uh, firstly you'll notice there is the uh, OneDrive ad. And if I have to again scroll down, I will notice that there is the Microsoft 365 ad. Now similar to this, Microsoft has implemented ads into the Start menu, the File Explorer, the Screen Lock. Uh, and many more areas that I have not remembered so far their names. Okay, now the question is, can we block those ads? Well, obviously, yes, however, not through the official method of the Microsoft. However, thanks to the com uh, open source community, we can go ahead and block them. Now, I have found two tools that are quite effective and they can handle the ads uh, as simple as drinking water. So the first tool that is WinPilot. Now, officially, this is a tool that is used to simply go ahead block for the Windows 11, but you can use it to simply go ahead and block the ads. For instance, the other tool is uh, OFGB. This is the other tool that you can use to simply go ahead and block the ads across the Windows 11. For instance, let's go ahead and download this one. Uh, after the download completes, you have to extract them. Uh, now, let me go ahead. By extraction, you can just simply extract that or you can copy that anywhere that you are comfortable with. In my case, how about I have to simply uh, extract that here by copying and pasting that. Okay, once it is extracted, all you have to do is just simply uh, go ahead and run this setup. Where is the setup, man? Okay, here is the setup. Just double click on that. So as you can see, uh, it has opened. Now this is also a simple auto guide that you can simply go ahead to follow through that. However, for now, I am ignoring that. But simply for now, choose block ads in Windows 11. So this is really simple. If you want to disable any ad, all you have to do is just simply turn that off. As you can see, it's saying that disable. Welcome experience has now been turned off. How about finish ads? As you can see, that is turned off. So this is a simple. All you have to do is just simply go ahead and uh, turn them off and the ads will be blocked across the different version of the Windows 11. For now, I will not do anything at them. Okay, that is the first method that you can use. Now, the other method that you can use is uh, this application called OFGB. Now, go ahead and download that from their official website. It was updated last week. Just simply download the setup. Now launch the application, it is asking that you will need the .NET framework that is needed because without that it is not going to work. Okay, as you can see, this is the other option that you can simply go ahead and disable the ads. Just uh, similar to the previous previous application, all you have to do is just simply check the boxes and the changes will apply easily. Now, you may need to restart once uh, all you have applied all of the changes. So this is as simple as that to simply go ahead and disable the ads. Now, uh, if there was something wrong with this video, uh, you can read their doc documentation in, uh, inside of their uh, inside the GitHub of how you can use it. And furthermore, there is an article inside the uh, uh, Pure InfoTech that you can go ahead and use them to simply block all of the ads. Now, it is, the methods are uh, already explained and pretty much simple. There is nothing else to simply go there also if you have another method that you can say it is more effective let me know in the comment section i'll be happy to embrace the knowledge for now have a nice day goodbye and i'll meet you guys in the next video